morning, viewers, and welcome to our daily breakfast show. <laughs> my name is Mariah Afolabi Brown. As always, I have my lovely co host here. Good morning. Hello. How are you guys doing? Good morning. Jumaka, are you all right? Uh, yes, I'm good, though. Yeah, mm. I'm a very happy girl in the happy God's world. You mean shopping again? Uh, no. <laughs> no, because that's the thing that makes you happy. <laughs> all right, let me jump to Madam. How are you doing, Oa? My dear, I'm fine. Oh, um, I went to Ogun State yesterday. Ah, really? My goodness. And I saw uh, beggars. There's a particular major, uh, what's it called, that leads to um, Songota, one, one bridge. Mm. Beggars all over the place. Wow. Everywhere was looking very dirty and littered. The roads were bad. I'm wondering, for goodness sake, eh? it's been a long time. We need mm. to start seeing things change. I, you know, the truth about um, uh, Governor Pashola, what I love about how he cleaned up Lagos, just plant flower and, and grass. They will relocate. Do you understand? And everywhere was looking <laughs> maybe very... They, maybe they relocated from Lagos to Ogun State. You never it's possible. So it's possible. Uh, but it's not looking okay. at Let all. Let me jump to Tokwe because <laughs> I have a news mention. Yes, Tokwe, how are you doing? I'm very good. Yesterday, I, Jumoke introduced me to an app on my phone that counts my steps every day. And um, I found a font to take 5,000 steps. And I'm encouraging people. I'll tweet the picture. So that we can all join. Seriously, we're trying to live healthy and I'm trying wow. to lose weight. Mariah, you have to join 5,000 steps every Mariah, day. Right. You know the Just funny thing about this app is to encourage you to exercise. Talk about stay in one position and be moving her steps. And <laughs> thing counts. Hey, but I, my heart is beating fast. I just want okay, to be fit. Okay, we're working on it. Don't worry. We'll see. By, by the end of this year, we'll see. December. We'll see the results. Eh? 31st. Yeah. We have our news mention. No? Today is International Day of the African Child. It is to honor those who participated in the Soweto uprising back in 1976. And it's always also raises awareness of the continuing need for improvement of the education of the African child. So that's a good day to remember. This oh, year, I feel funny. Go ahead, okay. A lot of times we just keep remembering these days. If you actually, if considering how many years ago this thing was institutionalized for us to remember to improve our educational sector, it's not, the impact isn't being felt. I'm tired of We're marking days. I'm, I'm tired of marking okay. days. I want us to do, proce the process should be on ground to ensure that the aim of these days is accomplished one way or the other, not yeah, just provide food the for, the for 2015. Day of the African child is to stop girl child marriage. Mm. So I think that, and that will connect us to this new law they plan. In fact, we need to zero in on that, that, on that law. Yeah, mm. that bill. I mean, there's a lot of controversy. But we need to actually really, really work focus on it. So maybe we'll do some work on, on, on it and then focus on it. But first, let us take a quick break. When we return, we'll look through the front pages of the newspaper. Stay with us, we'll be right back. I'm kissing the mug. Oh, yeah, we're back. We taught last week how to just kiss the mug. Right, the punch. Let's start. Yeah. National Assembly crisis. APC underrated G5 governor, says Kwakwanso. Boko Haram kills 34 in Putiskam Puti Chad. Kashamu withdraws 20 billion naira libel suit against Obasanjo. Hmm. Embattled Sudanese president leaves South Africa. My regret as INEC chairman says Jaga. Report corrupt policemen, IG tells Nigerians. Senators reps to get 9 billion naira jumbo pay next week. Mm -hmm. ha. I know that one, you, you say ha mm -hmm. to that one. Neck to revoke Idle electricity licenses and soldier shoot truck driver over 200 naira. That's, 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 story. that's really a sad story. Me. Do read that article. I, I read it and I feel really bad. Um, a soldier on the road, the, the truck driver wanted to bribe him. He, was, he, wanted, he demanded for a bribe from the truck driver and the man said he wasn't going to give him any. The man specifically he asked for um, 200 naira. The man now said, okay, the truck driver gave him 100 naira. And the, military, the, the soldier refused to collect the 100 naira. I said, it must be 200 yeah. naira. And the, guy, the driver refused that. I can't give you 200. I cannot afford to give you 200. In between that, that um, yeah. exchange, the soldier brought out his gun mm. and shot at the driver. Now, the driver slumped. The, the soldier thought the guy died and ran away. 
I'm, 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 my concern about this is, well, the entire truck, all the truck drivers now blocked up, protested, blocked the, the road. The hospital, so he's, he's, okay. he's okay. But, you know, I'm linking this with what happened yesterday. We have an... I'm happy that the governor of the state, that's Kaduna State, uh, Madam um, Nasir El Rufai, made, issued a statement saying that we cannot afford to have trigger happy yeah. soldiers and or I'm indiscriminate happy, clean, killing anymore. I'm happy he went there. Yeah. He went to the scene, mm -hmm. scene of the incident, you know, and to assure them that, you know, we cannot gonna deal with this. The, the, the so, soldiers get to do anything and yeah. they get away with it. We need to ensure that people get repercussions for mm, wrongdoings. Repercussions for, for the actions. Rufai is an action governor. Yeah. He's not there to joke around. Yes, <laughs> Immediately he entered, he, he hit the ground running. running. Yes. I beg. Ah. So you All love right. him. I love him. <laughs> no, it's a fantastic. That's my state, you know. <laughs> okay, let's pick one more story. Any any other story jumping on anybody here? Uh, all these stories are, are they're pretty the same. Nobody's talking about Kashamu this morning. Okay, let's uh, move on. Well, to it, the for me, the, that that honestly, that um lawsuit had no basis. Nima I'll said it that first too. day. Nima said that he wasn't going to get anything from it. So I, I, I'm, I feel... Well, it's in his best interest that he dropped this. Uh, some, some lawyers are big money, Mariah. so there's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> because this is Baba we're talking about. Ah. <laughs> the nation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Baba. <laughs> Major headline. Kwakwanso, Saraki PDP alliance is a threat to Buhari. There was conspiracy against Tinumbu by some APC leaders. More than 50% of Bukala Saraki is PDP. And the implication of all these now is that very soon the leadership of the Senate will start tambualizing the party. Mm. Mm. 10 dead in Yobe's twin bomb Boko Haram attacks. President not in a hurry to appoint ministers, others. Ambode sacks boards, 12 billionaire currency fraud. Judge dismisses bill request. All right. We're going to talk about Angbodi. I want to talk about the Human Angu story. Which one? The 233 billion, um, 263 million naira stolen. I mean, I didn't talk about that. Now. 263,000 naira stolen in, at the aircraft in. 12 billion currency mm -mm -mm. fraud. The aircraft passengers caught. Oh, the, the thief. There was the a thief, thief that was caught in the oh, aircraft. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. oh you missed mm. the story. Uh, yeah, I didn't mention it, but oh, passenger okay. caught selling 263,000 naira board aero flight. Mm. <laughs> what, was that? what was that? The story is very funny. Very, very funny. I read the story and um, in the papers, it said that the, the guy um, wanted to, like he was pretending like he wanted to change his seat. So he took on, um, is it a Norwegian guy or a German guy's um, German, hand I luggage? I think it was German. Hand luggage and went to another, uh, he, he went back to his seat. In the pretense that he wanted to change his seat. And later, when the German guy was looking for his bag, they said he, um, the, one of the air hostess said that they noticed that he took something. That when, when they got to him, he said hey, he mistook the bag, bag for, his for his own. Okay, now the man now opened his bag and checked. And money was missing. Money was missing. 500 euros and uh, this thing. So I'm just saying a lot of. Uh, he boarded the flight actually. To and they, they also saw one stick of. Uh, the for ganja me. thing inside okay, his bag. Let's move on to ganja. Right, I think no. that we should all be watchful when we take um, aircraft, any, yeah. um, any flight. Um, protect your belongings. Don't believe that everybody there actually came for business just okay. to fly. They might actually be stealing from you. All right, moving on to Vanguard. Major headline Buhari to fight graft with five special laws. Picks five bills from 7th National Assembly to be signed into law. The Office of the Financial Ombudsman Bill 2015, National convicts and criminal court records bill 2015 it has a bunch of bills is willing to adopt yeah, right okay yeah. Oshimbano to lead legal experts on the crusade Agbakoba reacts fraudulent corrupt persons occupying judicial offices you can see our president here in South Africa um, I think he's just having a great time <laughs> OPC pulls out of pipeline surveillance contract that's, that's not true that's why is Zuma allowed al-Bashir to go and Boko Haram, 10 killed, 12 injured in Yubi. Like, what story I is? want to talk about that. Which one? Um, OPC. The, the story about the OPC. Because um, another paper carried the fact that the president, the NNPC, on the orders of the president, has withdrawn the contract given to both Tom no, Polo, shoot at sight. is not the right word. <laughs> Cancelled. They have failed to renew the contract. It has expired. Oh, well. It has I thought expired. they just, they just no, it's, it's a one more contract that they have allowed to expire mm. and they have failed to renew. So well, it's but, not like they're withdrawing. But you it's understand? On, well, it's on the order of the president that they shouldn't continue okay. with the contract. Yeah. That means the OPC and the, that's both fashion and fraction and militants are not getting their pay package anymore. That's all. Did I want really to this? talk about the Buari yes. five laws. Well, the first one is the whistleblower. 
he's trying to laws that have been passed in the house actually he's picked five of them to help him in his anti-corruption um drive drive and the whistleblower law is such that somebody you know within the government can come and say this um, is this what, is, is, what is going they call the one funny word something utterance is I can't remember the word, but and it would be protected. Security, the, the person would be protected, such that if you if who I steal in and I know, I'm not afraid to go and blow the whistle because they'll protect me. Okay. You so know, even I'm if you're stealing, laws, you okay. because remember the Sanusi yeah. was, was a whistleblower <laughs> and unfortunately he got fired. He got fired. Right? Yeah. No, but Mariah, yeah, if, what if the person is stealing that is that is blowing the whistle? And they're going to investigate They will now. investigate now. Yeah, so that immunity you, cannot, cannot hold the, water the, now. The good thing is, everybody feel free to blow whistles. I keep, That's I've, all right. I've said two weeks ago, last week, let's ask questions. When you ask questions, if there's any, anything, anything you well, feel Nobody has mentioned about. this, uh, National Nine Bill. Okay, we'll talk about it. I uh, will talk about Daily it. Daily Sun. Mm, House of Representatives. Troubled Dogs Dogara. Bajabia Miller Group <laughs> gives speaker conditions. Mm. Demands half of committee chairman. APC sinks deeper. Council blasts Oyegun. Chairman must go as an NWC ch ch member. 11 killed in Yobe twin blast. National Assembly. Senators reps to receive 9 billion naira allowances. Okay. Let's go. Um, there. Should yes, I talk? So. Um, we'll, we'll talk about that allowances. I think hmm? in this day because no, the, it was in punch that the no, government this day know. gave us the right, the, figure. the right figure. I want to talk about Kwakwansu. Do you understand? So Kwakwansu. Uh, mm. Okay, I'll talk story. about Kwakwansu. Kwakwansu, um, that's the former governor of um, Kano, Kano State, State, now a senator in the House of Assembly. In, in the House of Assembly, said that he he, he stated that the gov the, the APC party structure mm. refused to take advantage of the proper timing in picking and allocating the Senate President and House of Assembly, uh, mm. House of Assembly Speaker yeah. early enough that if they had made up a mind uh, regarding the allocation and slotting who, um, whoever they wanted to give each position to early enough, yeah. the entire party structure would have supported one candidate as opposed to letting it dwindle for a long time and then there were crises. Okay, well, okay. That story. I think, uh, Can I talk no, about sorry, I wanted, I wanted to um, disagree with him on one ground. When the APC was coming together, forming all mm. uh, parties, they accepted everybody. Yes. And you cannot say that they would they would have reached because everybody have their own. This is Selfish playing out. Interest. This is playing out because everybody have what they came. I think to the it's party time to for the Senate so to work. So he cannot just, just make walk. that conclusion to say that they should have um, Anyways, they should have um, reached a concession. Dogara was saying, um, sorry, they're having troubles in the House of Representatives because mm -hmm. um, the. Um, but Jamia, uh, but Jamia Jamia Mila. Mila, um team mm -hmm. agreed to work along Dogara, but they're now asking for juicy, in quotes, committees, you know, meaning that all the, all the committees that have, you know, a lot of monies allocated to them and mm -hmm. blah, 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 are the ones well, that the, the people who are, I'm, I'm quoting <laughs> Daily Sonu, okay, <laughs> are the ones that the people who support Bajabi and Mila mm. want to cheer mm. in the house. Mm. And I'm saying, Does this not still suggest seems something? like... But, but, I, but I must say that um, the, the son carried that. The spokesperson for Bojabi Amila said that he did not make such statements. Okay, so you know what? Let us just wait to hear directly from these people. Let yeah, us he didn't assume. make such statements. Okay. okay, moving on to this thing. We need to round this up very quickly. National Assembly members to get 8.64 billion naira as world allowance next week. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how accurate that is because it's a bit conflicting. But I let's will break on. it down for you. Oyegu, why Saraki Dogara were recognized? Shell, Chevron concludes sale of four oil blocks. Yes. Okay. okay, so each um, House of Assembly member will get 17.5 17 million. million naira by next week, mm -hmm. and each senator will get 21 point something million naira. It all comes to um, 8.64 8 billion. billion. Okay. And that's only wardrobe. Allow is it per annum or for, for the, the next tenets? four years? No. Because I it's for the next four it's, years. It's for what but they are housing. And accommodation and a vehicle those are annual, annual allowances and Tokwa was saying something in the wardrobe that right now we say that we are broke can they not hold on to collect this their allowance till next year well, besides, they are not representing nigeria outside of the country like the executive and are. they are not poor they and have they clothes poor. good clothes they so can still you are wear only going into the house for meetings can you hold on this your wardrobe almost nine billion naira you know when I'm worried because I feel like some, that the, the wardrobe is not only it's only wardrobe that is nine million. It's, it's only wardrobe. wardrobe. According to this day, but according to other papers, can they I, broke it down. No, I, no, this is this wardrobe. This particular, it down. this particular money is only wardrobe. But let me say something. When we traveled to, to Kaduna early this year mm. for my sister's wedding, my brother-in-law went to see uh, then uh, uh, former, uh, I mean, then the General Buhari in his home. 
the kind of clothes he was wearing. It is not. He was saying that if you see the clothes, it wasn't looking like this was a new. It's like something that was inside his wardrobe for a very long well, time. There is executives. No, uh, what I'm even saying, what, what role are they playing exactly. besides all the money that they have gathered all these 16 years? Because they cannot tell me that they are not, they've not been within government. Most of them within have been in power. They've right. been within government. So they should, they should, in short, for me, they should scrap that wardrobe allowance. Right. And even car allowance, they should just be a car, car for four years. years. That's all. You know? All right, all right. Morayo, we sacrifice. We, I, I expect sacrifice from this new government. What I think we should do, Tokwe, mm. mm. this, this is really juicy. Topic. Let us make read, it hot we can make it hot topic. Let's read more about it and know exactly what the breakdowns are. Compare it to what happened in the last regime and then see if there's actually any change, Difference. right? And we can now talk and make it a hot topic, but let's not dwell too much on it. We're going to take a quick break. When we return, woman inflicts blade cuts on a nine-year-old nephew for eating at a party. And later, we'll talk to the, we're talking about the African child. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Right, according to reports, a woman, Ronke Olayinka, has been arrested for inflicting terrible injuries with blade cuts on her nine-year-old nephew for eating at a party. In Nigeria, corporal punishment, they say, is our culture. Most people in position of authority are incapable of using appropriate form of discipline to instill positive behavior in our children. Is hitting your child child abuse? What are your thoughts on this? You can call us on 070 8066 You can tweet to us at WTVC. Right. You guys read the story, and I'm glad that I read the story, and it was really, really And pathetic. you already know where my stance is on um, flogging children. Okay. I believe that you should punish, you should talk to them. Um, flogging should be last resort. But this woman, hell, wickedness. Or I should say... He, I wouldn't call say in Nigeria that is um, devil. Because how can you... She's trying to correct the child. She's how much she establish what happened? Let, let our viewers know exactly what now, happened. Um, this nine-year-old boy, from when, when this incident happened, he said that when the police came or the authorities came in, he said that he was hungry and he noticed that there was a party on the other side of um, his neighbors Street. were having a party. Mm. So he decided... That if he goes out there to help, probably mm -hmm. arrange chairs, serve food and all that, he might end up getting food to eat because there was no food at home. That was his story. So when he, as he finished the work, naturally they gave him food to eat while he was eating. His sister saw the, him eating and went to report to his mommy. But this mommy is his aunt. Yes. She's not his uh, uh, biological she's mother. She's his aunt. And so his parents the, are dead. Yeah. So while they, uh, he came back, so she, the, mother, the aunt had gone to buy blade. So immediately he came in, you know, that was how she inflicted, cut his hands very and deep. And then put charcoal. Now, no, no, she now put pepper first. After putting pepper, she now gave him a hot pot of beans to, to carry, carry with that hand from outside into the house. That is wickedness. Now the, the, the police now, the neighbors saw the injury and arrested the woman and um, said, okay, she gave an account of what happened. She started saying, um, coming out with, uh, the boy is very stubborn. Now, even the neighbors know around him that there was food in the house. The boy will always go outside to go and be eating. Blah, blah, blah. He goes out to one place she so called to go and swim. She wants him to be a good boy. She wants him to be a good boy that anytime she wants to beat him, he's always running up and down. So she has to catch him. So this one, she didn't she didn't think it was going to be this bad though. But, you know, she was just only trying to make him okay. a man. Okay. And but I'm wondering, do you think it's just illiteracy? Because it wasn't intentional for her to inflict, uh, inflict and, and she claims she's a widow. Him. No, I'm sorry, sorry. Something. There's another no. part the boy said. She claims that she's a widow. The boy said that anytime he wants to beat her, he takes a plank of wood. She takes. To hit, I mean, she takes a plank of wood mm -hmm. to hit him. But her children, she uses um, a cane. I, I don't know. Can it's I explain sad. something? You know, because you, you made a statement, and there's no justification for this sort of action. It is actually very evil. However, Mariah, you mentioned a point that it could be ignorant. You see, we, li we, grow we were brought up in a society that believes corporal punishment is a way to correct children. Yeah. That is a mindset that is in most older yeah. women. True. That the way to change a child is to beat the evil out of the child. Because the way I also remember as a kid, I used to suck my thumb. And my aunt used to um, throw him that I would cut it and I would put pepper. pepper. That for them that was like a, so to no, yes, your brain. So I would know that I would stop sucking. So we, it's, a, it's something that we know that people always leave. threaten us with. Yeah, but you see, the thing is, with this issue, I'm saying that I don't agree with Jumoke that you shouldn't beat your children. I've always stood on the ground that when you want to beat your children, make sure that you're not upset. 
when a child has you know yes. gotten to your nerves, nerves of anger and the child has gotten to that nerve and you know that within yourself that you are too angry it is best to leave that child yes no. or tell the child to kneel that while you are calm mm. Mm. then you cannot take a, a, a cane give the the, the the child maybe two strokes or three i hear you very well. can we listen have, to yes. our part of the story okay she mentioned the fact that there was food at home that the boy is usually a very stubborn boy doesn't obey well, um, our, order, our orders also mentioned the fact that there was food as in the pot of beans was the beans mm. at home do you understand? But you know that has told us that there's no bad child, only bad parenting. Yes. Right? There's never so it's really in the parenting of this child because you need to understand this kind of what so his own change, um, so natural abilities. Hold on. Yes. We don't take into cognizance that this woman was a frustrated woman. She uh, is now. When she wanted to start to tell her own story, the first thing she said is I'm that a I'm a widow with mm. three children. Yes. I'm trying to make ends Sweet. meet. And here she is, stuck with her own brother's children. Yes. Now, she was saying that there was food in, his, in the house, beans. The boy, in his own story, said he looked around, he didn't find food. Where was the food? At the party. <laughs> no. No. Maybe, maybe she, she, maybe she, she, maybe she locked it and yeah. locks it off. Or maybe the food at the party was that. nicer. No, hold on. We know children can be not Let me take Adewale's call. Good morning, no, Adewale. Are you there? totally go with the young man. Good morning, Mario. Good morning. Go ahead. A good morning to you, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. I think uh, in our own environment here, the way our people do things around that people's children, they can't do their own like that. You see the way they are children, our own children, they are doing teach our own children like that. How can a woman be something like that for a nine-year-old son. Yeah. It's not good. This is wickedness. Can you do it to our own son? She can't, no. I think it should be, it should be prosecuted. I face the law. I don't agree with that. You should do something bad. You okay. see the children, the son, the children, sit down. All right. Something to, to his head. After that, you can sit in there. In. Okay. It, you see, when we are, you see, it's easy to say that when you are thinking rationally. She when you are angry. angry and frustrated, you're not thinking rationally because as mothers, you she know, shuts down. there are some times where your children get to you. I know I have been in that situation where I'm angry and frustrated. Maybe I have the two babies. I'm like, leave me alone. Give me a few seconds. I need a breather. It happens. You're just upset. But I, it's just that we here don't know how to manage this anger. Can I, can I She's explain? frustrated. So she feels that the only way I can make you is give me the last thing in the so I don't have to do this again. No, Let no. me get your hand and cut you. No, no, you find it. No. I'm just no, saying that like it's say deeper, like you always say. Yeah, it's, it's always deeper, deeper, it's deeper than, than what we see. Yeah. Yeah. We need to go deeper and figure out how do we fix her own problems to make sure she's we, not frustrated. You no, no, no. We have we, a cultural we, issue. Yes. We have a cultural issue that permits corporal punishment. It doesn't. Don't what, say no. that. That's wrong. No, that's a lie. All our parents, is there anybody, can anybody tweet and say that their parents ever beat them mercilessly? There is a, is a cultural thing. So I we agree. need to have firm laws that will punish parents for beating children no. like that. We can't go firm to the Western laws. world though, I beg. Mm. Beating Let is important. Let me take this call. Ah. Let me take this call. This is not necessarily important. <laughs> good morning. Are you there? <laughs> oh, I want to kid you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Okay. Please go ahead. Go ahead, yes. All right. Um, it's so uh, hard to hear you. I hope you can hear me clearly. Yeah, go ahead now. We can hear you now. All right. I'm not in support of what happened. Okay. But I was not 40 years. When I was younger, my mom did something like that to me. Okay. The point is, there are some women that are just. They, they have that kind of aggressive nature hmm. in dealing with children. To them, going to that extreme is a collective measure. They are trying, when she's older, she's you now, she has her own. So when she's in high school, it's not so my, clear. Some, some it's not clear, but she's complaining. And I tell them that. The letter is bad. Let, let, right. yeah, let me come to somewhere. Uh, to, uh, you know what? When I was growing up as a child, there was a particular, I can never forget that incident in my life. That's why I say beating is important, but you have to do it right. We, my older siblings were sending us then to go and steal one one cobble from our, we were saving the one one cobble, saving 50 50 cobble, like that inside our, uh, mm. this thing. we're picking it from my mother's, uh, um, this thing. But guess what? It was my older sister that my mother caught as the, mm. the scapegoats. The beating that I saw her beat her, you know, that was the end. I never took anything. I was probably like, maybe, uh, I can't even remember how old mm. I was. very young. Yeah, but, hold on now. But it was what I saw. And the beating, she tied her in between her legs. Mm. You know? So that's and not corporal punishment. Beat the living daylight out mm. of her. Listen, I'm not saying 
Corporal punishment, I don't believe that is corporal punishment. That can turn that no, child into being a rebel. I don't believe she that. She can be real rebel. Wait, wait. I was talking about being rebellious in a second, uh -huh. but let me take this call first. Good morning, are you there? Hello, Joy, good morning, Mario. How are Joy, you? Joy, please go ahead. Tweet, please. Good morning, I just want to contribute. Yes, go ahead. You see, um, uh, who I think that um, corporal punishment is part of our culture, I agree with her. Okay. All of us can remember being beaten once or twice by our parents or aunties or guardians. But the the woman that just caught up a child, mm. that is absolute wickedness. Yes. I can Good remember time. even when I was growing up, I was living with an aunt. You know what this woman did? I washed the pot and she had already warned me not to put a um, wet pot in the cupboard. You know what this woman did? After two or three days, she found a pot in the cupboard with dirty water and um, with, you know, water and cockroaches, and she put that water inside my mouth. Ew. I will never forget that as long as I live. You know, even I have children now. Children can be very, very annoying sometimes, but at least we use, we, we're supposed to use love mm. to correct children, not mm. yes. to be corrected. It's absolute mm. wickedness. The you woman know. should be punished. Thank you so much, Joy. Now, so when, when, Uwa, one second, when Uwa was talking, in our, and I remembered oh. that me, I remember when I stole cookies from my my, 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 brother, my dad brought cookies from Abuja, and I stole cookies. Now, he beat me so, I, the Latin amongst the Asians stood down. I, I stood down, and he used his belt to tie it together. He, and I was eight years old. He beat the living daylight out of me. From that on, I think I stopped eating biscuits for a long oh, time. Me. Maybe that's why now you oh. like snacking oh. so much, because I was deprived. Say, can you say what she she, she said stopped. she it was a traumatic it. experience listen, listen, eh? because uh -uh. somebody was beaten and fear grew in you yeah. and you stopped being naughty does not mean that there are better ways to stop you from being naughty you now, don't understand you can it. drive a child to become rebellious uh -uh. or you can drive a child to become so timid they can never do anything again in their life they have no self-esteem mm. because you're beating them you can correct children without corporal i've saw my parents mm. beat my brother I had fear in me, but mm. it made me become rebellious. Mm. You can teach your children to be good without beating, beating them. them. It's because you have started beating that oh. you say, maybe it's the only way. beating is not going to be do him again. Yes. I have to cut him off. Mm. So this one, maybe that's even the Bible says that if you spare the child, let, 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 let me take this call. Listen, right. It's not beating the child every day, every day, every day, for every wrong thing. Okay. I am saying that there's a, a, there's a light height of what a child would when do. You beat and you will know that when the child knows that you are beating the child, the child will know that this one has done Wrong. David, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Please go ahead. Yes, um, I like your program. And uh, from this topic you are discussing, from this topic you are discussing, yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, Let me take a Let's do um, Let's take three, three. The radical mm. honesty says, my mom tied me to a chair and rubbed pepper on my face before. Mm. I didn't believe she was my mom until I grew older mm. and saw the love. Talk okay. do you want to take some? Um, <laughs> Emmanuel Demola says, let's, let mothers should, um, in, let mothers inculcate proper parenting, not punishment. Women believe Women believe they own their child's lives. But like Daily Olu Koju says, a child can never be disciplined by physical force and mm. coercion. It only creates a rebellious attitude in a child. Okay. Okay. So Blessing that... says, the Bible supports punishing kids, but not inflicting injury on such marks mm. on kids. Beat a child, not torture a child. Yes. Uh, true talk, Jumoke. We need I think, laws. I think, I, so just like, let's go back to the law thing. I think you're we right. Need, we, need, we need proper laws. laws to be able to regulate yes. beating. And another thing I wanted to just add, that, mo that woman, she's not fit to raise that child so the government should she's have a play there's no law people no. should make her less frustrated and then she's because frustrated. Don't look she, at take that child of her. she just needs to be she's taken frustrated care of. she is down. frustrated on that note we end this segment when we return to commemorate the international day of the african child we discuss how do we enlighten our children on the need to know more about their culture we have our guests in the studio stay with us we'll be right back All right, welcome back. So we're still celebrating the International Day for the African Child, and that's why we have our guests here in the studio. A lot of parents have very little understanding of their cultural background, hence it is difficult to teach these children cultural values. How do we enlighten our children to learn more about cultural values and mother tongue? 
Joining us to discuss this is the creative director of the African Children Festival, Mr. Mensah Paul. Welcome to the show. Good morning. So you know you've been doing quite a lot to get the African child to be aware of their culture. And because we're celebrating International um, Day for Ch African Child, we have your queen the, and queen. I mean, yeah, the, I said queen and queen. The king, king and queen. And queen. <laughs> yeah. Here, here. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Now, you've been projecting the culture. Why is it so important that we project culture of young people, young children? Yeah, it's very important because uh, right now we see that uh, the generation, their own generation, are losing the gap between what it used to be about 10, 15 years ago. They are now looking up to civilization, foreign civilization, which is now breaking them to know where they are com coming from. Uh, let's, let's take, for example, you may ask a child, what's your name? You say, my name is Babatunde. But he doesn't know the meaning of Babatunde. Mm. Funny enough, he doesn't even know his dialect. He only say, what's up, what's up? Already you have created a, mm. a gap. So that's the idea about... Now, I know that you, you started this, this campaign um, as a result of the 1976 um, incident that happened in Soweto. It was Soweto, yeah. What was that about? What, what, was that, what, what was that thing that spurred you to start this campaign of African child with their culture? What was it about that incident? Yeah, we know that South Africa has gone through a lot of appetite period. And we say that these children found out that then, they found out they were being imposed to be taught uh, the English way, their colonial way. But they said, no, we need to be taught in our own language. That's why if you see, South Africa are very, very passionate about their culture. That's what spurs me up. Because I know growing up back then, when my own school days, there's always a uh, cultural day in school. But you find out these days, there's nothing like that. Mm. And you find out children don't even, cannot even identify with their identity. Mm. Because if care is not taken, we'll find out that we don't even have a culture, we don't even have uh, an heritage to be proud of. Now, we were talking earlier, ladies, about um, the corporal punishment. That is part of our culture to uh, thank Spank children. Spank children. Do you agree, as a culture, as a cultural person, you're trying to project our culture? Do you agree with the arguments we had earlier? Yeah, it's so unfortunate that uh, that woman did what she did. I guess it's out of frustration. Mm. Corporal punishment is really right because sometimes you need to put fear into children this day, especially this generation, because they want to have a self-dependency. But you need to put some fear into them. Do but you, you need to con you need to control your actions. Thank I guess you. it's frustration that pushed her. I totally agree with the uh, problem. As the Bible says that if you spare a child with the rod, you lose the child. Mm. Sorry, do you think fear would lead to Change. proper correction of the child? Change. Do you believe that putting fear in that child would help the child to correct such bad behavior? Let's say a child is stealing, that by putting fear in the child's mind, it we'll would stop, stop the person from stealing. Fear will, will not really uh, help to that. What is there is this. When you are instilling discipline in a child, even though you are taking an action, you make the child, after maybe beating the child right you now, let the child no one understand why you are doing that. Thank you. And you give an instance why this is done. This is why. Because there are lots of instances. It's okay. Do you want to end up in, in the prison by stealing? Yeah. Already the child is now... Don't uh, you think that sentence alone would do the job of correcting without... No, without waiting. No. Yeah. Listen, can I say something, uh, Murayo? We've, we've grown past the stage where there are so many things that are teaching our children these days. Mm. What has happened in the, in the developed countries, I think in the UK, they are having problems controlling yeah. their children. Yeah, yeah. And because of this singular thing. So you can't, you can't mm. say that uh, uh, instilling... I am thing. saying this. It's not even instilling fear. It is making the child come to the realization oh, what, that this saying. thing is wrong. And yeah. it is Ken that will do the realization. It is not all the time. Okay, now let's go back to this project you're working on for, yeah. for the African child. Now, okay, you said that you tried to help them to be more in tune with their culture. culture. Now, what are your thoughts on the Nigerian culture, on the African culture? Does it need to be... Uh, retweaked because we realize that there are lots of cultures that we, have, we need to really do away with. A lot of traditions. Since we do that, we, we feel that it's 2015, it's certain things should not be it's outdated. What are your thoughts on that argument? Because there's this, okay, should we or should we not? Right? For example, okay. maybe the, I don't want to, anyone that jumps the, out. The um, circumcision of women yes. is All a cultural part. Well, which, which part of that? Which Child are, marriage. In, in your which campaign. Is the theme for yeah. this yes. year. Yeah. In your campaign. Well, are you sifting out from the culture to introduce these young people to new culture, or are you just saying, that, okay, this is how we do it, all, and this is how we should continue doing it? What, what, what's your position on okay, that? Okay, in tune with uh, the team for the year, uh, celebrating our collective effort to end child marriage, we know it's part of some culture that mm. at the age of 13, 14, but we know that it is not good. good. Yes. So we are uh, like, the team now is emphasizing we need to do away with that. This mm. is our culture. There's some culture we need to be that need to be done. How away with. do you do that? Yeah, like like uh, my initiative. Our initiative is for them to really be proud of where they come from. Then also see how to balance with the negative aspect of it and the positive aspect of it. That's what we are driving. Like what what me uh, my team is really driving about is for them to really be identify like the way they dress, 
the okay. way they talk. Because so how are these people dressed now? What culture are we Okay, right, right now they are the uh, outgoing king and queen for the, for the initiative for African Children Festival that we, we are celebrating. So now they are, they are dressing reality so that they will know that, okay, this is how the king supposed to look like, this is how the queen supposed to look like. And also the way, the way they even uh, greet adults, because some children don't even know how to greet uh, an elderly person. They raise their, uh, take their hand, which is show a little, a little like, like disrespect. Even though in the Western world it's allowed, but our cultures show that younger ones are to be respectful. At what age do you start this campaign? What, I mean, do you just, how do you, do you just go to schools and start saying, okay, I start getting okay, to get dressed up? What this, do you do? This, this is the fourth edition, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there is always a, a month of activities. We uh, we have the essay, which was the pre-event. We also have the, the rally to create awareness. So we go to school, tell them, okay, the children to, to gather the children to be able to get cultural dance, uh, drama in line with the tune of the year, so that they can be at the file. At, at the festival, we now uh, encourage children to try and meet their parents, to know where they come from, to be proud of being African. Do you talk to parents? Because uh, if you are trying to educate people, for instance, child marriage, it's not the children who decide I want to marry at 13. Mm. It's the parents who say, I want to give out my child. So do you reach out to parents? Yeah, well, I'm happy that I'm, um, I'm on this program right now. This is one medium of getting to, to the general public about what the initiative is all about. Right now, we're dealing with the schools, with the teachers, and we are preaching that uh, the schools will also get a, a, like a club whereby the children can also involve their parents when they have a, like a, 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 a cultural day. Because I remember back then, 10, 15 years ago, there's always a culture, you invite parents and they see their, their children performing different activities. So that's the way we have been reaching right now. But we believe that later years we get larger by the time we move on with this initiative. Now, concerning language, yeah. we know a lot of people don't, a lot of children actually don't understand yeah, their language. language. Yeah. At what age do we start getting these children accustomed to their language? What, what age do you think parents should start actually even generally introducing their culture to children? From uh, the intake of uh, pregnancy <laughs> to when you give birth to the child. First, you name the child. What do you call your child? You call your child uh, Wood? Michael, I'm sure. You're supposed to call your child <laughs> a, a name that, okay, they start calling, okay, they call me, uh, like my own native name is Unkafumau. People start calling Unkafumau, they don't call you Jerry. They will start mommy, what is the meaning of my name? The child is already identified with the name. So that's the way you start. And so I, we, name your so child we should like name our children our native names. So that has meaningful meaning. Some native names don't have meaningful meaning. Uh -huh. have meaningful mean, yes, meaning. No. Some, Some native don't. names don't have meaningful meaning. They have, so that they can be identified with what the name is. Mm. Because if, I, if I'm proud of my identity, I can have some identity to other world. Because one, Africa is blessed. Mm. We, are the, we are the second largest continent in, in, the, or in the planet. So we need to be proud of ourselves. Like, unfortunately, Nigeria is doing low on that because we are not really selling our culture. But no. some other countries are doing that like the Gambia, the self tourism and culture. Can I say that, is it not the, um, this last thing you just said about Nigeria not doing well about our culture, is it not attributed to too many languages? <laughs> because I, I, I'm just saying- 400 too, cultures. You know, there are too many, <laughs> you know, if you have one, you know, and you focus on that one, it will become a, a stronger force. I am an advocate of all speaking one language in this okay. country. <laughs> and it will be what? I feel, Pijin, <laughs> I, don't, I feel the beauty of our language, culture Pijin is the diversity. Don't mind her. You know, and I, I also appreciate the fact that um, your king, and, king queen. and queen are dressed differently. I know they have beads, but it doesn't like she it doesn't look like a bini person. She looks bini yeah. person, um, yeah. like a bini person. Um, how, what are you doing to... I know you said you've spoken to schools. What are you doing to ensure that languages, like encouraging languages specifically in school, maybe doing seminars for teachers and all that to teach them languages? My children's school taught them Yoruba and I was really impressed. Mm. So what are you doing to encourage schools to teach? If parents can't teach, maybe the schools can help to fill the gap. Mm. Well, well, I'll let you answer that when we return because we're still celebrating the International Day of the African Child. I will still have our king and queen here because we are celebrating the African culture. Mm -hmm especially with relation, relation with the children. So we are still talking about corporal punishment and also with young people projecting culture. So it's all, we are celebrating the African child today. But let's talk about, let's take them to it. Bola Dele Hey, hey, okay, wait, wait. Talk by start, talk by two, two, Bola Dele Oluko says, culture, if you beat a Hausa child and free a Yoruba child, do they turn out better than an Igbo child? Teach family values. Hmm. Pastor Amos Anthony says, People who are, advocate, who, ad, who are advocates against corporal punishment may not have become useful for themselves without it. Leave it out and you spoil the child. Yeah. Well. Bisola says some children require stern handling, while some would only require a, a, a gentle no uh, nudge in the right direction. 
corporal punishment from control says, uh, corporal punishment only makes a child rebellious. To punish a child, you can stop him or her from most fun things that she loves or he loves. Fumilola says, there are so many ways to curb a child. As a psychologist, I see a lot of children with low self-esteem mm. due, due to their upbringing. Um, if you look at Elisha says, beating a child mercilessly is not the way of correcting him or her. One more, Mufulao Mustafa says, Morayo, you are correct. I think the woman is frustrated. Part of our culture. My mm. mom has put pepper in my eye before mm. for tasting her soup. Oh my <laughs> goodness. All right, I actually want to hear from the king and queen. I'm going to get you a mic right now so we can hear you. I want to see if you've experienced any of these um, corporal punishment issues. But what are your, what's, what's your response to the initial or the comments you have, who I made earlier um, concerning what... I was talking about languages in languages, school. Yes. I said when I, when I was in Kaduna, they, they had options of at least the three major languages, Igbo, Yoruba, Hausa. But I, I noticed that in the West, it's only Yoruba. That is the only option that most schools offer. And I'm wondering, it shouldn't be. You know, you should be able to have other languages. Yeah, but the problem we have right now, the educational system in the, in the, in the country is uh, falling apart. Because I remember back then, when, when, I, when, I, was, when I was in school, uh, it was compulsory that when you even want to do your work, you must do a language. Mm -hmm. yes. but, oh, after a while, it started dropping. This Already, it? Yeah, some, they, they, it's, not, it's not a compulsory thing. Before oh. it was compulsory, you must have a language. So you, but now, it's not, it's not there. So already, the educational system needs to be restructured. Okay. So that... Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Let me let me hear uh, okay. King and Queen. We've talked about corporal punishment. We're talking about culture. Which one? Do you, which one jumps at you? Which one would you like to talk about? Okay, I like to talk about um, child abuse and the way parents beat their children. Okay, like like me now. Mm -hmm. I can I use myself mm -hmm. as an example. I had an experience with my auntie. I live with my auntie. Mm -hmm. Like someone gave me a Christmas gift like that. I showed it to my auntie. I, I showed the gift to my auntie without having anything in mind. So I don't know that she was angry. She beat me hmm. to stupor. As in she, in, she injured me then. Wow. Mm -mm. So, so today, I can't do anything and open up, and to, open her. up to her. Yeah. yeah. It, but why not would the anybody ask her to give you a present? You want to bring it to the house? Who? <laughs> because I have... Mm? Who gave you a present? It's just a friend and she knows that friend of mine. Male or female? Male. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> no, 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 no. Can't we address Morayo. this issue by explaining it Morayo. to her? You see the thing is, <laughs> your Morayo. own daughter will come to the house Morayo. and say, "Man, give her a gift." Oh, Nick, what are you talking about? Can I explain this? Morayo, can I explain this? As a, as a fresher in, in um, 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 when I was in the school, yeah. somebody gave me a phone, and I told the guy, I said, "I can't take this phone home except you follow me." Jenison, mm. and I said, we went home together, and mm. he said he was he was supposed to marry me then. He was interested, mm. but. I took him because I was How old were you then? Well, I was already. Hey, hey. Well, hey, you can't compare this small baby. Beating. This baby looking baby. Mariah, your beating hey, is not the explanation. Years, ten years. Mariah, listen. Ten years Mariah, old. Mariah, listen, 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 listen. She was <laughs> ten years. A male <laughs> friend gave her a gift. <laughs> what you need to do is make Educate your her. children bring home their friends. Mm. Educate them. Yeah. Now that you're beating her, is it that she won't have boyfriends when she gets yeah. into the. She ten years, years old, she baby. She'll come to you again. Ah. Mariah. Yeah, she's right, because I can't. Open up to hate. That's all. Yeah, but she can be who beat me again. To stupid. Okay. I can't open up to that again. No, but Mariah, I don't understand. Okay, I'm going to understand you because look, she's going to cry. No, no, Mariah, can I say something? I'm getting upset. I don't want you to get upset. Mariah, she's remembering the beat. Mariah, just one second. Stop it. Stop it. Wait. Stop it. Don't. Don't mind this. Mariah, can I say something? Let me. Let me. I want you to understand something. Listen, my own position is that listen, I think a ten-year-old has no business. Collecting a gift from anybody, uh, uh, personally. However, crazy. however, I'm sure you had the best intentions, and I, I know you had nothing negative in your mind. Yeah. Maybe she just felt that listen, she needed to teach you a lesson so that you know that so don't be receiving was, gifts from me. Right but gift? maybe the way she did this was wrong. Can I so I will agree with you. Lesson. Maybe the way she did it was wrong. If I want but to I'm, teach you a lesson, mm. I take the gift from you. Mm. Explain to you that men are trying to exploit you by giving you gifts. Explain to you to understand the value of yourself, that you don't need that gift to make you better. Uh -huh. And then you will see a gift next time and let the man know, I don't need this. Gotcha. Oh, that is the okay, let me jump to a guy here. What is your reaction? <laughs> yeah, in respect of that, that's why parents need to play a major role. Mm. When you're bringing up for your children, you must create communication. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You must explain some things to them. Like my dad makes us to understand then growing up. If you have anything to do or somebody get, come and meet me and talk. Like right now, if the aunt has explained one or two things to her, mm. she will be freer to come, not next time, not beating. beating. Because even though you are instilling discipline on any child, 
you must give reasons because to every action there is a reason for it. Mm. Exactly. Fantastic. Let me come to a gentleman. You want to talk on the cultural thing or you want to talk on the corporate punishment? Which one? Which one jumps at you? I like to talk about the corporate punishment. Yes. Okay. Actually, I've never suffered it before. Okay. Thank you. And I've only heard about people who face that kind of punishment. Well, I'll start with my friend. He, when he was little, they actually told him that he would give him a biscuit if he goes to his father's room and steals some amount of money. Mm -hmm. But as a young boy, he doesn't understand anything yet. So he actually stole the money okay. and gave it to the man. And the father got to know about it. He said, Pastor in my church. Mm -hmm. And he hanged him on the fan Yay. and left the fan on. Ah. Jesus! But it was not on a high speed, the lowest. Ah. So and, f and kept flogging ah. the boy. Jerry, those that are advocating for corporate punishment, that's actually that didn't happen. Don't say yeah. that now. We are not. Hey. Don't worry. Hey. Ah. I need to clarify something. See, evil, evil, evil in our culture. Don't, 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 we need to change don't, our culture. Don't, don't say that. We need to change I our culture. I have never heard that in my life. Yeah. Yeah. The person is going out of uh, uncontrolled anger. Thank and you. That's the pastor. That is an uncontrolled that anger. Pastor. Pastor. Okay, unfortunately, Child. we don't have Child. enough time. He wasn't beaten. Mm. He yeah. hasn't turned mm. out bad. That's mm. my point. Stay the rod mm. and spoil the child. Oh, yeah, stay the rod and Unfortunately, we have to nip this corporate punishment talking because I want you to have a few last seconds to talk about this initiative. Story. So you can. Yeah, that, that story. <laughs> we'll make it a hot topic another day. But I want you to comment on the event happening so that. Um, Okay. You can get people to talk about uh, right so now, we can talk more cultural projects. Right now, the National Stadium, uh, uh, schools are already gathering for the uh, African Children Festival. And uh, we are going to have fun because there's going to be lots of, uh, they'll be showcasing drama, uh, choreography. They'll be having fun so that they can be proud of, uh, about their identity. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's what, that's that's what the initiative is all about. Thank yeah. you so much, sir, for being here. King and Queen, thank you so much. Thank you. you. Thank you. Grace, I hope um, I didn't upset you. <laughs> 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 Unfortunately, we have closed. We, had, we can't say, I know you want to finish the story. Are you ready to continue? We'll tell us about the story. We are ready to hear the story. Unfortunately, we have to close. And if you want more of the story, who and Jumoke will tweet it to you. God bless you. Don't forget to watch a repeat broadcast at 11.30 p.m. tonight. You can also watch previous episodes by going to YouTube slash TV Entertainment and search for Your View. You can also catch us on Google Plus. Search for TVC Entertainment. Join us tomorrow for another exciting time on Your View. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus. Hey, I have never.